What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm going to you guys a pretty easy Photoshop tutorial, and this is going to be pretty much making your own webcam overlays, and you guys can use these for your YouTube videos, your stream videos, um, gaming, um, pretty much anything you guys want to use them for, you guys can. And uh, this is a nice little thing to add to your channel to uh, spice up the videos and pretty much make your uh, channel a little more attractive in a sense. So well, it's actually a really easy tutorial to do, it's not going to take too long. And you're going to have a little couple things to download in the description. So right now you want to do is hop over to the description. You guys are going to download a Mediafire link to uh, these four swatches right here. And basically what these four uh, color styles are, are pretty much what we're going to be using. And if you guys don't know how to add these, what you want to do is just right click on the ellipse. Go to blending options and click on new style. And then just click on uh, OK, you want to name them. And they'll just pop up right here in your styles. And then if you guys don't have styles like the setup right there, you go to window. And go down to uh, styles. It's like the fourth from the bottom. So that's pretty much how you get those. So those are what we're, what we're going to be using. And then for the background, we're going to be using a Black Ops 3 wallpaper. will also be the description right here. And then you guys can pretty much go from there. So uh, the first thing wanna, you guys are going to want to do is find out your uh, size for your webcam. If you guys are using any Logitech uh, webcam or any like computer webcam, the size is 1920 by 1080 when it first opens. So uh, we're going to be using that. So what we want to do is open a new document that's 1920 by 1080 and just drag it into your uh, your wallpaper. So uh, what you want to do is just hit control or hit shift, excuse me, and then just make it smaller by grabbing one of the anchor points and just dragging it downwards and just make it not too big and not too small because you guys are gonna have to resize this and stuff every now and then if you guys are making a video it's a big size or a small one you guys will have to resize them so I think about here is good and I just centered it so if you guys don't actually have these purple lines that pop up if you update your Photoshop they should show up if not then uh, you're pretty much screwed just eyeball the middle and you guys will be fine it usually locks in Photoshop anyway so uh, the first thing you guys want to do is make the fill on 0% on your box. So you want to go to blending options after that and go to stroke right here and put an inner stroke on. So just hit stroke and put the position on inside. And just drag open the size to about like 12. So uh, this is pretty much going to create a little box around your webcam. Just so you guys uh, don't have your webcam that's like a little bit pushing out. It's going to be actually inside of it. And it just looks a lot cleaner. So uh, after that what you want to do is just make a new layer. Hit shift click the uh, layer 10 or whatever layer it is for you, merge layers, and then just click this little black layer style onto it and then add it there. This is just going to add a little character to it and then you guys can rename it. Let's just say we're going to name it a webcam box. So the next step you guys want to do is zoom in to the bottom and we're going to work kind of scattered around this just because it's a lot faster and a lot easier. And what you want to do is click on the bottom layer and then click a new one and pretty much grab your polygon tool. And you guys are going to want to take a ruler and then just putting it on the same side as this right here and what you want to do is pretty much just click right here and drag out a little bit and then bring it straight to the middle and then just bring it back to this side so uh, what you want to do is just right click go to fill and then go to color and make it a nice blue color because you're going to be adding a layer style onto it or any color that you guys want and then pretty much you guys are set from there. The next thing you, get, you guys want to do is add this layer style onto it. It's going to be the third one. It's going to have a uh, blue line through it. It's going to be like a layer style that just cuts down and changes the colors immediately. And what you want to do is just right click, go to edit, or not right click, excuse me, control J, go to edit, and then transform and flip horizontally, and then bring it to the same side. So, and since you guys did try your best to center this, if you guys make a ruler on this side as well, just line these up and they will should they should be good. So well, you guys pretty much got this so far. So this is going to be pretty much the bottom of your webcam. And it might look a little too big for you guys. Um, You guys will be shrinking this anyway so it won't matter too much. And what you want to do is just click the first one, hold shift and click the second. And then right click and hit merge layers. And then hit control J again, edit, transform and flip vertically. So you're pretty much just making a mirror image of this yourself. And you guys are just adding this to the top now. So uh, the next thing you guys want to do since you already have pretty much a top and bottom done is now the sides. So the sides is pretty much the way you guys want to do them. Um, I What I did is I just made a little like rectangle or a little polygon, or rectangle, what do you want to call them? A rhombus. And uh, what I did is I just clicked, let's just randomly like right here and I held shift and then I just dragged down a diagonal line, brought it downwards and then held shift again and made another diagonal line. And then I just double clicked and then I just made himself. So what I'm going to do is I hit fill and then add the same color blue to it and then just center it so if you guys will center it it'll just use a click in or the purple lines will just pop up and then you guys can add your uh, silver layer style to it so uh, that looks a little too big for me 
That's what she said. Actually, that's no, pretty good. I'm going to be shrinking it. And uh, what you want to do is hit Control J, edit, transform, and then flip horizontally again. So if we just do this, it should pop out like that. And then you pretty much got this so far. So the next step is going to be pretty much with adding your logo. So uh, this is actually probably the hardest part of doing a webcam is adding, adding your logo. And luckily mine is actually a circle. So what I did is I went straight into the middle and grabbed an ellipse tool. And I went to the top layer and I just made a pretty decently sized uh, circle. And then I centered it as best as I could between them both. And then I just clicked the uh, layer style with nothing in it, just like a straight color and then I open up my logo so when you want to open up your logo you guys want to follow your color scheme of let's just say mine's blue and like a kind of a silver so I'm gonna leave my logo white for now I'm gonna pretty much just kind of shrink this down so it fits it pretty decently and uh, if you guys have let's just say a big text um what you guys want to do is pretty much the same thing I'm doing now but uh, shrink the text and put it in the circle or make a box or something just so it's a lot easier to do and then you want to just center this a little bit better and then you guys need to zoom out and then you can see if it's good or not i think it's still a little too big i'm gonna just gonna click these both these and hit Control t and shrink them all right and then you can just put this a little more centered um zooming in actually when you guys are centering stuff is a lot easier because you guys can go like almost pixel by pixel up and down and then if you guys want, you can add your layer style onto it. I'm going to leave mine just straight white. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. I'm going to make it a little bit nicer like that. And then you guys can pretty much zoom out and you're almost set. So uh, now that you guys pretty much have your webcam done, um, you, the, the rest is pretty much like the home run stretch. Like The rest is actually pretty easy to do. What you want to do is just click the top layer and then go down and then click the bottom layer and then merge them of just the webcam. So you just guys have the straight box. So you guys can pretty much edit this. Let's just say you want to make this webcam. Oops, put my Beats audio on. I'm using my well, laptop, by the way, on this. So I'm doing pretty decent for using a laptop. Put your, just label it webcam, and then your guys are pretty much set. So you guys want to just import anything. I think I have. No, I don't. You guys can pretty much import anything for the, uh, the icon. But let's just say you guys want to import it and add other stuff. Let's just say you are going to want to put your webcam in it. So what you want to do is just put this in like, the top right-hand corner and hit control actually excuse me don't do that duplicate it and then minimize the bottom one hit control t on it and then just drag it so it's smaller and then you guys can just add your webcam up here um i did a little tutorial in obs on that that'll be in the description as well and then you guys are pretty much set on that so um it's actually really easy to do and it's not hard to do at all you guys can pretty much just learn it yourself so uh, in honor of saying thank you guys for almost 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be leaving this link in the description for free for this webcam. You guys can fully edit it yourself, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So uh, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers, and I hope you guys have an awesome new year. Definitely come check out more videos that are come. I'm going to be, be getting my new computer in about a couple days or so. So I'm just trying to do a little basic and easy tutorials for you guys in the meantime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. If you guys did make this on your own and you guys want to link me, um, my Twitter will be a notification up in the top. You guys can just tweet at me or uh, DM me. My DMs are open, and I'll just totally give you guys some opinions and tell you guys if I like it or not. So uh, that's about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, and I'll definitely see you guys in my later videos. Peace out.